Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. It's me and Boo this weekend. We have drove up last night from, I drove from Cornwall to Somerset to pick Boo up and then from Somerset to Pencoed in Wales because we're on our way to... Dobby's Grave. Dobby's Grave. Um, it's in Pembrokeshire, which is quite a hike. It's a lot further than I thought it was going to be actually. So um, it's about an hour and a half away from here. There's a long ass drive. There's a lot of traffic on the way up here last night. Um, it rained horrendously. Um, we managed to bowl up in a little car park in Pen Coed. Um, it wasn't the most most appealing of places, but I've got to be honest, it was um, it was free. So we picked up a bit of litter this morning while well, I did, while Boo was getting dressed. Met a lovely guy who um, worked for the council and um, yeah. So Boo's just having some Oreos for breakfast, which I don't condone, by the way, but I was too late. She was already doing it before I had a chance to stop her. And I'm grabbing a coffee and then we're gonna head off. Hopefully the weather picks up. I think it's gonna be a bit windy, but the weather last night, the rain, I'm surprised she slept through it. It was, it was big rain. Should we get ourselves sorted, tidy the van up and head off? And stop eating Oreos? And stop eating Oreos. Okay. She's not going to stop eating Oreos. No. <laughs> Carrot crunching in sync with door closing. That stays in. Do you want to explain what it is we're doing? I watch a lot of Harry Potter and Dobby was Harry's house, house elf. And um, him and Harry were best friends. But what was that witch's name? Oh, Tricks are strange. She um, had a knife, and when she threw the knife, they all jumped through a portal, but the knife went with them, and instead of hitting Harry Potter, it hit Dobby. Sounds tragic. Yeah. And then poor Dobby died. But they buried him on a beach next to a house, and we're going to see him. Right. And it's quite a walk. It's not just like, it's not like a tourist attraction that we could just drive up to. We've got to drive to a place. No, yeah, walk 40. But then walk, walk for ages there. to get there. Boo is not a walking fan, but she's not a big fan of hiking. She's not a big fan of any of that. So we'll see how this goes, shall we? I prefer you having a carrot for your breakfast and an Oreo. So as I drove the van through Wales for another hour and a half to two hours towards Pembrokeshire, Kira thought she'd get herself in the mood by watching, you know, scenes of, of Dobby the house elf being, being murdered, you know, like you do, lift the mood and all that. It was at this point I thought I'd better put my dad hat on and try to lighten the mood a little bit by massively changing the subject. What do you think of Wales so far? I'm, I feel better than I did last time because <laughs> last time I thought it was a different country. Last time we came to Wales, I picked up Boo and I thought it would be a great idea. I thought she'd absolutely love it. We're going to the Brecon Beacons, or it's not called that anymore. What was what was the Brecon Beacons? Maybe Snowdonia if she's all right with the Breckons. And we went across the bridge. She saw the different language, got very upset. Thought we'd left the UK <laughs> and I thought we were in a different country. We found a lovely park up in the middle of nowhere, it was great, it was absolutely stunning. But and I cried and I didn't like it. She burst into tears, she was not very happy. She was like, Well, yeah, it's lovely and everything, but we didn't stay in here. So we drove around for an hour and a half, yep. trying to find somewhere that was suitable for Her Highness to stay, yep. and we ended up in a housing estate with a bunch of boy racers and she was fine. And I'm sitting there revving their engines and they're playing their music and she's watching the DVD and I'm going, sorry about all the noise, boo. She's going, what, what noise? <laughs> That's what happens when you've got a townie for a child. Now, as the heavens opened up, we didn't hold up much hope for how the weather was gonna be when we actually got to Pembrokeshire. So we drove through the rain and decided like any decent weary travelers, we'd get ourselves a little bit of a nap in the hope that when we woke up, the weather would have improved. And lo and behold, the plan worked. As you can see, the weather definitely did improve. So Dobby's grave is in amongst these sand dunes somewhere. Behind the bush. In amongst all of this. Over there. We've got to find the big car park. What do we reckon? Is this a car park? Yeah, that's a car park. That's a car park, isn't it? Let's do that. Oh no, there's not a lot of space in there, actually. Right, so Dobby's grave is in there. 
<laughs> See where it's marked? I think there's a car park there. I think it's full, but, but if we have to, we'll just bloody park there, isn't it? Or in there. Yeah, let's go in here. Don't hit those humans. I'm all Harry Potter'd up. You Harry Potter'd up, yeah? I've got a Harry Potter shirt and a Harry Potter jumper. Are you going to be warm enough? Because yeah. I think it's Harry Potter freezing here. Harry Potter freezing here. I think it's free. Well, he freeze our potters off. What? <laughs> We've made it. Got one very excited Harry Potter fan. Because it's so windy, and I don't know how far it is. Should we take some supplies just in case? What supplies? Um, supplies. <laughs> 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 I had to get us geared up because as far as I was aware it was a massive massive hike so I packed everything spare batteries drinks the lot even pens to draw on the stones when we got there I was ready for this massive massive hike so we've got a drink got some supplies got some pens let's do this where are we going first so is that it there you think you can see it? Look! No way, you can see it already. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be a massive hunt for Dobby's grave and Kira's just found it. As soon as we got here, she's like, there it is. I was going to get my phone out and sat nav it and everything. Probably can't hear a word I'm saying. And that was that. I mean, what I built up to be a massive hike in my mind turned out to be just a case of crossing the road and walking down a little bit, but None of us were really that bothered. Both of us, as you could probably tell, were quite excited. I was just happy to be there. And I've got to be honest, this is probably one of the most stunning beaches I've seen in a long, long time. It's called Freshwater West. I can highly recommend it. If you're ever in the area or if you need somewhere to aim for, definitely head for down there because it's absolutely gorgeous. So, hundreds of miles of driving, sleeping in a car park. So that one there, come and look at this. I gotta be honest, I'm not mad at it. It's nice, it's bloody beautiful here. This trip was more than worth the effort. If you're a Harry Potter fan, obviously this is something that you're gonna to wanna to see. If you're not a massive Harry Potter fan, the beach is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful place to visit. Pembrokeshire, absolutely gorgeous. Freshwater West, up there with one of the nicest beaches I've ever seen in my entire higher life but for now it was about paying our respects to the dead fictional character and drawing on a few rocks and making some memories as you do you know how it goes so yeah all in all Pembrokeshire my first time here your first time here is what that's cracking that is it's very very good it's a beautiful place it's stunning and I'm glad that the council although they tried to get rid of this well, the thing is, people will just put it back. Simple as that. Knock it down, they'll build it bigger. I, just like I can't see the harm. I think it's a bloody beautiful thing, to be honest. I'm just lovely how I can see how many people love Dobby. Yeah. So we're done. That was that. Just chatting with a lovely lady, a Welsh lady, who told me that Pen Coed means top of the woods. Coed means woods, and pen means head or top. So I've learned some Welsh at Dobby's grave. Is that lady there? Uh, Boo made Dobby's name in the rocks. So I'll get her to send that to me and I'll put that in. Where shall I put it in, Boo? Where I, you point on the screen and I'll put it there. Where shall I put your, right, <laughs> right there, right in front of you, right there. Should we put it there? Yeah, yeah. Right, so all in all, it was a good little trip. Look at my hair. Oh, the wind proper got my hair bad, man. It was a successful mission. We found Dobby's grave. Boo, you happy? Very. <laughs> She's very happy. And uh, yeah, chuff with that. Pembrokeshire, I can honestly say, it's absolutely stunning. Do you want to walk along the beach or do you want to walk through the dunes? Walking in the dunes. Shit walking in the dunes. <laughs> right. 
get Dan out the sand. I've got shoes full of sand. Okay. I bought, do you know what I bought with me, Boo, right? I bought hiking boots, waterproof jackets. I bought all the gear for a massive hike over stones and cobbles and through all kinds of stuff. I come well prepared. We come out the car park and Boo goes, there it is. <laughs> right, now that it's not windy, how was that for you, all right? Notice the wind protector still on the mic. I say it went really nice and I loved it. Yeah? Yeah. What was the best bit? Uh, spelling Dobby's name out of the rocks and then, yeah. Yeah. That was nice. I've got what mountains. Do think, what do you think of the beach? I like where Dobby's grave is, the rest of it I don't like, except for the ocean, because I've now got mountains and sand in my shoes. <laughs> Always looking on the bright side there, I like it. And now you can probably see that the wind protector is gone. Well done, Ads. From here on in, it was just noise after noise. But it did prove one thing to me, that the dead cat or wind protector on the mic is actually really, really effective. So I definitely will be investing in another one of those. It was great. It, oh, well, you can hear yourself. It worked amazing. I don't think we can. I don't think we can. No, we can't. Look, all that foggy shit around here. Unfortunately, with the wind protector missing from the microphone, it kind of ruined the rest of the video. When I got back to the car park, uh, right next to my van was a beautiful big MAN owned by a really sound bloke called Mark. We talked about vans, I had to look round his, he had to look round mine. And there was also a really lovely lady, the same lady I'd met on the beach who taught me that Pen Coed is Welsh for top or head of the woods. So she was in a van just up the road. There was a whole van conversation, but as per usual, you won't get to hear it because it sounds a bit like this. It's incredible, I love it. Which is very unfortunate, but that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. So after a fairly long conversation about vans, I said goodbye to my new friends and we all went our separate ways. Me and Boo headed back to the southwest after a fantastic weekend together. We made some great memories. I'd seen a beach that I'd never seen before, which always makes me happy. Boo had seen the grave of a fictional character, which obviously made her happy, so everyone was a winner. Thanks very much for watching. I love every single one of you, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Love you. Bye.